Now, the second approach is causal modeling, and that's just really the one we talked about at the beginning. We want to forecast y at some future time, say t plus h, and we're predicting it, and we're going to have a regression equation, and we're going to use some x, some other variable, to predict it, but that variable has to be known at a future time as well because they're always measured at the same time. And so we have a separate problem. We don't know x of t plus h any more than we know y at t plus h. So we'd have to have a separate equation to predict this. So there would be a separate equation predicting x and whatever that forecast was would be the predictor variable so this forecast predicts that forecast. And this is obviously more complicated because you have a double forecasting problem and you need to figure out what x might be. And often if you sit around with experienced people they could nominate maybe a short list of possible x's and then you could do a little data detective work and say well maybe temperature affects sales, maybe price affects sales. Maybe uh, promotional activity affects sales. Maybe all of them do. But you could look at them one at a time and see, make a scatter plot of y against, say, the first possible x, and y against the second possible x, and y against the third possible x. And if you see something that looks like this, you're out of luck. That x doesn't have any leverage to forecast y, so that's a bad one. If it looks like this, this second possible x is a very powerful predictor because that regression line is pretty close to all the observed data. So, um, and this other one might be something like this. There is a relationship, but it's kind of weak. So if you're only going to use one, this x2 is the best choice among x1, x3 x2 and x3. So that's using a causal modeling where we're saying that this x actually causes. We can tell a story that says if I promote, if the temperature goes up, um, if I lower the price, there's a theory about why that will affect y. It will make y change. It's causal. And so if you can predict the driver of y, the predictor of y, you have a, a nice mathematical approach to codify that. 